Have you ever wondered how your favorite perfume is made? Picture this, a blend of fine oils and aromatic compounds that have the power to evoke emotions, trigger memories, and define personalities. Welcome to the art of perfumery, a craft as old as civilization itself. From the ancient Egyptians who used fragrant oils in religious rituals, to the glamorous Hollywood stars who wouldn't step on the red carpet without their signature scent, perfumery is more than just a craft. It's an integral part of our daily lives. It's in the soap we use, the candles we light, the laundry detergent that keeps our clothes fresh. It's a multi-billion dollar industry that spans continents and touches every corner of the globe. Perfume creation is a delicate dance between art and science, a journey of discovery, and a testament to human creativity. It's an intricate process that's both fascinating and complex. So, are you ready to explore the world of perfumery? Delve with us into the fascinating process of perfume making. Scene Script Perfume creation begins with the selection of raw materials. The heart of any perfume lies in its raw materials. These are the elements that give the scent its unique character and complexity. They can be broadly categorized into essential oils, synthetics, and aroma chemicals. Essential oils are the most traditional ingredients in perfumery. They are derived from various parts of plants, including the petals, leaves, roots, and bark. The methods used to extract these oils are as varied as the plants themselves. For example, steam distillation is commonly used for hardy botanicals like rosemary and eucalyptus, while more delicate flowers like jasmine and rose might be subjected to solvent extraction or in flourage, a painstaking process that involves pressing flowers into fat to absorb their scent. Synthetics, on the other hand, are man-made compounds that mimic or enhance natural scents. They were introduced to the world of perfumery in the late 19th century and have since become a staple due to their consistency and versatility. They can be used to recreate the scent of materials that are too costly or ethically problematic to source naturally like musk, or to create entirely new olfactory experiences. Finally, we have aroma chemicals. These are individual molecules, either naturally derived or synthetic, that perfumers use to add specific notes to a fragrance. They might include something as simple as vanillin, the primary component of the vanilla bean scent, or as complex as ISO-E Super, a synthetic molecule with a subtle, velvety woodiness. The extraction methods used to obtain these materials are a science in themselves, combining age-old techniques with modern technology. From steam distillation and solvent extraction, to molecular distillation and supercritical fluid extraction, each method affects the final product's scent and character in its unique way. These raw materials, carefully chosen and meticulously extracted, form the building blocks of any perfume. They provide the perfumer with a vast palette of scents to mix and match, allowing them to create fragrances that evoke emotions, recall memories, and captivate the senses. From these raw materials, the magic of perfume begins to unfold. The perfumer, much like a painter, has a palette. But instead of hues and shades, the perfumer's palette is a symphony of scents, an olfactory orchestra that sings in top notes, middle notes, and bass notes. These are not physical colors to be mixed on a board, but rather aromatic molecules, each with its own unique fragrance profile, ready to be blended into a masterpiece. Top notes are the first scents you experience when you take a whiff of a perfume. They're the attention grabbers, the ones that make the first impression. They're typically light, fresh, and evaporate quickly. Think citrus, light fruits, and herbs. These are the scents that sparkle and dance, the ones that pull you in and pique your curiosity. Then, as the top notes begin to fade, the middle notes, or heart notes as they're often called, begin to bloom. These are generally more rounded and balanced, the bridge connecting the light top notes to the deeper bass notes. Floral spice and green notes often make up the heart of a perfume. They give the perfume its character, its personality. And finally, we come to the bass notes. These are the heavy hitters, the ones that linger long after the top and middle notes have faded away. Rich and deep, they provide the foundation upon which the rest of the perfume is built. Woods, resins, and musks are common bass notes. They're the ones that stick with you, that become a part of you. The perfumer's task is to weave these notes together, to balance the light with the heavy, the fresh with the rich, to create a scent that is more than just the sum of its parts. It's a skill, an art, a science. It's about understanding the ingredients, knowing how they'll interact, how they'll evolve over time. And so the perfumer with their palette of scents sets to work. They blend and mix, tweak and adjust until they find that perfect balance. The perfect blend of these notes results in the perfume we adore, 
Once the palette is set, the blending process begins. This is where the magic happens, where the perfumer's vision starts to take shape. Think of it as an intricate dance, where each note, each scent, is a dancer, and the perfumer is the choreographer. The blending process is a delicate balance of art and science, requiring a deft touch and a discerning nose. It's a meticulous task, not unlike composing a symphony. Each ingredient must be added at precisely the right time, in exactly the right quantity, to create a harmonious blend. The first step is to blend the base notes, the heaviest and longest-lasting components of the perfume. These are the scents that will linger, the ones that will be remembered. The base notes form the foundation of the perfume, setting the stage for the heart and top notes to shine. Next, the heart notes are added. These are the body of the perfume, the soul of the fragrance. The heart notes are typically more mellow and rounded, providing a bridge between the bass and top notes. Finally, the top notes are introduced. These are the first scents you smell when you apply the perfume, the ones that make that all-important first impression. They are lighter and more volatile, evaporating quickly and paving the way for the heart and bass notes to emerge. Throughout the blending process, the perfumer must continually test and adjust the formula, adding a little more of this, a little less of that, until the balance is just right. It's a process of trial and error, of patience and persistence. And then there's the role of alcohol. Alcohol is the invisible partner in this dance, the medium that carries the scents and helps them to meld together. It also helps to preserve the perfume, prolonging its life and enhancing its sillage, or the trail of scent it leaves behind. After blending, the perfume is not yet ready. It must undergo another crucial process. This is the journey of perfume creation, a testament to the artistry and expertise of the perfumer. Each step is a vital part of the whole, culminating in a fragrance that is more than the sum of its parts. The perfume must now mature and pass quality control. Now that we've delved into the artistry and science of creating the perfect blend, let's move on to the next key stage, maturation. Maturation is not merely a waiting game, it's a crucial part of the perfume creation process. Just like a fine wine, a good perfume needs time to mature. This is when the magic happens, as the individual notes and accords meld and evolve, creating a harmonious symphony of scent. During this period, which could last from several weeks to a few months, the perfume is kept in a cool, dark place. This allows the volatile top notes to mellow out and the heart and bass notes to come to the fore. The result? A well-rounded, multi-dimensional fragrance that is much more than the sum of its parts. But while the perfume is maturing, the perfumer's work is far from over. This is where quality control comes in. Each batch of perfume is meticulously tested to ensure it meets the highest standards of quality and consistency. This involves checking the perfume's stability, color, and most importantly, its scent. Perfumers often use gas chromatography, a high-tech method that separates the perfume into its individual components. This allows the perfumer to see if any notes are out of balance and make the necessary adjustments. As you can imagine, this requires a high degree of precision and expertise. The perfume is also subjected to various environmental conditions to test its longevity and stability. It's exposed to light, heat, and air to see how it holds up. Only perfumes that pass these rigorous tests make it to the next stage. Remember, a perfume isn't just a commodity, it's a sensory experience, a personal statement, a mood enhancer, and often, a memory trigger. As such, it must deliver on its promise every time it's worn. With maturation and quality control complete, the perfume is ready to be bottled. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. Finally, the perfume is bottled and packaged, ready for you to enjoy. This stage is just as crucial as the creation of the fragrance itself. The bottle, often a work of art, is more than just a container. It's a statement, a symbol of the scent it holds within. From crystal flakens to minimalist glass designs, each bottle tells a story, setting the tone for the experience of the fragrance. The packaging too plays a significant role. It's not just about protection during transport, it's also about branding. The box, the wrapping, the label, all contribute to the unboxing experience, creating anticipation and excitement. In the perfume industry, design and branding are paramount. They play a significant role in shaping consumer perception and driving purchase decisions. From the scent to the bottle to the packaging, every element is meticulously crafted to ensure a holistic sensory experience. From raw materials to exquisite bottles, the journey of perfume making is truly a fascinating one.